Hey, 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 hey. It's the 30th of August. The, the month is almost over already. Wednesday the 30th. Cheers, people. Mmm. Oh, boy. It's hard to explain how sometimes the taste of the coffee and the blend is just so right. This morning it's pretty, pretty close to perfect. Well, folks, I, I got to talk a little bit more about RAF because it's, it's, it's happening. Thank you so much, people. Um, I wake up to ha having received orders from England, UK. Yes, you get a black signed copy, sir. And, and if you see this, and one from Japan. Well, we'll see how much that really costs one day. Once I get to the post office this morning, I just got up and <clears throat> we'll be going after I uh, post this video to uh, mail out the uh, albums that, wow, people, the response is just wonderful. I'm really happy about it, you know, because we don't have a, we don't have a pu publicist. We don't have someone that we can afford to pay to approach magazines to get reviews. We don't have the money for advertising. So this is all through social media and word of mouth that the sales are coming in and they are coming, they're strong. I was very pleased yesterday to get a message from Grapefruit Records saying, we, 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 wanna, we wanna carry your record. So I went down there and they didn't have didn't have to consign them. They bought them outright, which I I like that better than consignment. I have um, a CD. My woven territories, folks. You, you know it, it's still this is still popping. I've still got these, but these are also available um, down at Grapefruit on consignment. Get one of these on Friday, um, as a, to show support for the the, the uh, channel on Bandcamp Friday. If nothing else, buy one of these to support the channel. It's a sound tapestry, though. It's not empty. It's good. It's a sound tapestry. I would see online this morning that Brian Day, my partner on that, is showing some new contraption that he's working on. I love being involved with with people who are creative and don't who don't just sit around and watch TV because I don't do that very much myself. Very little. <clears throat> mm. Cheers. So grapefruit are terrible. And I mean that in a positive way, because when I took the RAF records down to, um, well, I went to Homer's too, so I'll just tell the truth. Okay. The records are on sale at Homer's. We sold them, they bought eight copies, six black and two um, maroon. The maroon sold immediately. They told me they already have two um, more of the black on hold for people who are coming in from Lincoln who want it. So I got something at Homer's, but I'll start with grapefruit because, um, well, I'll start with mail because I saw this online last week that the Sun's signature was being re-released um, with remixes. Now, I, when I, the notice that I read didn't specify anything so I wanted to make sure I got it so I ordered it the vinyl is yellow vinyl but the remixes the remixes aren't on the vinyl they're on the download card and it turns out that the uh, remixes are on the C, the new CD version I don't like to buy CDs no problem I'll, I'll keep both copies for now, one on black vinyl, one on um, the yellow. Timely, 
yesterday was Elizabeth Fraser's birthday. The amazing singer there, also with Cocteau Twins. I have quite a few Cocteau Twins records. Most of their 12-inch singles I have. It's beautiful. I love the fact that Steve Hackett is also playing guitar on there. And noticeably so, it's Steve Hackett. It's beautiful. Her voice is lovely. So I got that in the mail. When I went down... Okay, so I'll go in order. When I stopped down at Homer's... Really, to say hello to Mark Manor, who is the uh, one of the long-standing employees of the of the uh, store and a good friend. He's been a fan of mine since he was a kid. He used to be a, a rabid digital sex fan back in the '80s. So I had seen uh, on their um, last Friday's new release post this reissue of Dillinger Escape Plan's Ireworks. Love this band. Love the singer's voice. Sounds like scalding hot water. I love it. And I saw these guys live. I forget what year it was. That sealed the deal. They blew my mind. Their energy. This is the blue vinyl reissue of Ireworks. This band is dynamic. Not only are they frenzied and, and chaotic. They're also musicianly very, 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 very good. They slow it down on here for a couple of tracks and it's like, damn, this guy's, this is unique, this is a unique sound. Dillinger Escape Plan, I have most of their records now. Um, this is really good. Really enjoyed that. So that was, that's what got me to go down to Homer's in yesterday. Just I wanted to see if they still had it after Friday because I didn't go down over the weekend. I was so busy with the uh, album release. So, and it was there, thankfully. So I grabbed it and um, enthused with the guys at the store, like I said, about the RAF release. They all like it. I, everyone have <laughs> already been informed that several of our friends are have not, have um, put us on the. OEAA nomination list for album of the year. Just, just the, um, the gesture from our friends alone means a lot. Okay, I picked up two more records. One uh, in the used. No, I picked up three at um, Grapefruit. Excuse me. Three, um, two in the used and one in the news section. So in the used section, I noticed this cover. First, I noticed the cover. Black Market Brass. Undying Thirst. The cover caught my eye. It reminds me of uh, very much of that album by, is it Archie Shep? Has a cover similar to this, something about Juju, I think. So that caught my eye, so I looked at the back to see what's going on here, and it caught my name. Cole Police is on baritone sax on this. I met and improvised with Cole several a few years ago in Lincoln at the Lincoln Festival um, Music Festival. He was um, he was part of the group that was with Bill Brobold, who were on the Avant Garde. Um, they were at the avant-garde show that I was a part of. So, and that's when I got to meet Talim, Talim McDon McDonis. And um, Bill Brobold, uh, what he did with these guys at the in Lincoln was, was, was excellent, kind of amazing, really. And so um, when at the end of the night it was um, time to, um, to jam, I got to jam with these guys and, and talk to them, and good people. So this is, I like this. It's kind of Afrobeat, but not exactly, okay? There's that Afrobeat thing going, 
with the rhythms on several of well I haven't played all the side two it's primarily instrumental too which I like the playing is solid and the rhythms are are good they're not fake ticky tacky this is when I saw the name Cole Police I said okay I'm gonna go ahead I'm not sure I'm saying his last name right I'm gonna take a chance on this I like the cover someone I know is on here that well, I don't know him but I you know like I just explained winner it's a good one black market brass fairly recent um, um, let me see if I can tell you what when it was uh, released I think it's fairly recent let's see if my computer will oh good it's working 2020 came out in 2020 they have a new album as it now that I see it they have a new album called Hawks so uh, there was that the other album that was in the um, used section was I was glad because uh, it's a new reissue and they had it on the wall as new so when I saw a, a pristine copy used I grabbed it Acid Mother's Temple and the Melting Paraiso UFO this is their third album third or fourth album reissued by black editions and this is tasty can you see see that it's a beautiful tip on jacket with that laminating or whatever you high quality I love it Acid Mother's Temple though honestly it comes with a big poster a big old big ass poster I've seen Acid Mothers twice now I don't collect them because they are better live than on record for the most part their records are very inconsistent even the inside has that um, look at that that's high quality shit download card with the kitty but this is um, super high quality to, like and look even even the inner is printed Neil Young's on the beach is like that and there's other records like this that are printed on the inside where you almost want to oh, I wonder what it really looks like uh, okay so this is one for the collection this is a psychedelic mess that's what it sounds like it and in melting paraiso is perfect term for their sound Makoto Kawabata is a guitar god in many ways he's just he's a, he is a force to be reckoned with and to see them live is the way to go to see him wreck that guitar he's played with everyone from gong to you name it Charles Hayward just everyone second time I saw them he remembered meeting me up in Oregon which I loved you know and then now we know um, our friend Ron Anderson uh, up in New York he just toured um, playing bass for them because their bass player who's out on tour now couldn't get to America great band uh, quite an experience live but also some of the records are like I say are better than others they're inconsistent on album so this I even had to go whoa when I saw this I had to go whoa whoa when I saw this ooh some of you people know right away Yarandu by Rob Tomsett this is a reissue this is a band from a, some a Canberra some small place in Australia the the story is here in now again is the label that has reissued this and I'm glad I've come across this because this is not a new reissue this came out in 2017 and I had not seen a copy at all so apparently grapefruit had been trying to get co a copy of this forever and they finally scored one Yarandu plus the second album Hara both released on the double album this is one of those mythical collector's items that 
where the artist put it out in a very, very small edition originally, so they're very hard to find. I don't even think there's one for sale right now on Discogs, not an original. And it's worth it. It's not a high fidelity recording, it's, but, the, the, but the music is like, whoa, this is just what I, I and many of us are looking for. It's somewhere between fusion, spiritual jazz, and psychedelic space music. This is awesome, and they play well. Parts of it sound like ECM stuff. This is awesome, I was like just blown away when I saw this and it's a heavy ass tip on jacket high high quality uh, honestly I haven't played the second album Hara yet I listened all the way to Yarandu because I'd never heard it before in full just clips online super happy to get this Yarandu by Rob Thompson score man when I saw it in the display they have like you know displays you know they have the new of note display um, rack when I saw that at the top and I went whoa just like that and they gave my eyes just like that and then Mike who was working because Simon Joyner who co-owns the shop with Mike is Mike Simon's back out on the road over in Europe now bless him bless him hard working man oh I was able to find out um, from Mike because he's good friends with David Nance that the David Nance mode sound album that I've been that I play on that's coming out on Jack White's label third man it's been pushed back to next year for release it's still happening folks so I got all this activity and I've already, I've already got activity lined up for next year. So that's what's up. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go ahead and um, get off here and go. I'm looking at my pile of maroons maroon colored uh, RAF albums it's getting down there um, there probably will be a, some left on Friday if you're waiting till Friday for Bandcamp Friday to purchase there will probably be some maroons left then I have looks like I've got five left of these black vinyl um, versions of the album that's signed that are signed and um, this one um, has two different stickers two different size stickers I, um, a large one and I mostly have these small bleed stickers to add to the records but get one of these while you can okay I'll be surprised well I won't say that but they may be gone by this Friday they, there may be and these you have to ask if you want a sign then you leave, you send me a message with your order um, asking if you can get a signed copy I'll be happy to um, okay and someone here is concerned that I didn't get their order so um, I'm gonna check that and make sure that we don't miss any orders okay folks I'm off to the post office let me know how you're doing.